Hi everyone, I am Zubair Hassan. Hope you all are fine. Today we are going to discuss a very important and interesting topic on the types of research. So dear friends, let's start. Types of research. As you know, there are mainly three types of research. Basic research, applied research and action research. So dear friends, we will discuss all the three types one by one. At first, we will discuss basic research. Basic research means the development of theories. Basic research means the development of knowledge. Basic research means the development of principles by observing broad generalizations. What does it mean? Basic research means when we talk about development of theories, development of laws and development of principles. We can say any theory which has been developed before. Then we can say this is basic research when the theory is applicable and applied everywhere in the world. And uh, we can say any law which has been developed before and is applied everywhere in the world. And any principle which has been developed very before and is observed applying anywhere in the world. This is called the basic research. So, basic research means development of theories, laws and principles. Huh? When we observe okay, these laws and principles are applied and used everywhere in the world. So, basic research also means discovery of knowledge. Basic research also means discovery of knowledge and advancement of knowledge. Basic research means when we talk about uh, development of knowledge, when we talk about advancement of knowledge, when we talk about discovery of knowledge. That means any theory, any law, which has been developed by someone which has like I have given below some examples uh, like law of gravitation given by Isaac Newton and any laws, any theory developed by some educationist, some scientist, some psychologist very before and use it now everywhere in the world and applied everywhere in the world we can say this theory has broad generalization so, basic research is also called fundamental research. Basic research is also called fundamental research. And basic research is also called pure research. When we talk about fundamental research and pure research, we can say any theory which has been developed very before, any law which has been developed very before, by for example i have given some examples for, uh, here law of gravitation uh, developed by isaac newton and operant conditioning theory by bf signal and laws of learning given by el thorndike these are the three examples you can make best understood of the meaning of basic research like when we say law of gravitation this is the first law of gravitation developed by Isaac Newton. This is the basic law of gravitation developed by Isaac Newton. And operant conditioning theory developed by B.F. Zwickner. When we talk about conditioning, the basic conditioning theory is developed by B.F. Zwickner. When we talk about laws of learning, when we talk about laws of learning, we, we can say the basic laws of learning, law of readiness, law of exercise and law of effect. That laws were developed very before by E.L. Thorndike. And today we can use and we can apply and everywhere these laws are applied in the world to get understanding of the topics, to get the understanding of the knowledge, to get understanding of anything. But basically, these laws, basically, their theories, basically, the law of gravitation is, was developed by Isaac Newton. 
Okay, this was the basic meaning of research. I can also use the word basic meaning of research. So, another type of research, applied research. Applied research, dear friends, uh, means applied research is the application of existing knowledge in practical situations. Means applied research is that type of research which is uh, developed on practical situations based on the existing knowledge. Applied research is the application of existing knowledge in a practical situations. Any theory, any law, any principle, when we see existing knowledge, any law, any theory, and any principle which has been developed very before and is applicable and we can say now uh, is being applied in practical situations. We can say this is called applied research. And applied research is implied to solve specific, immediate, and practical problems like new technology and inventions. Applied research is implied to solve specific problems, immediate problems, and practical problems like new technology and inventions new technology in education new technology in social science new technology in physics chemistry we can see everywhere but uh, i can quote an example uh, use of ict in education we can say use of ict in teaching and learning system when any teacher or any uh, administrator Huh? applies any I use of ICT gadgets in classroom to make the best understanding of the instruction in classroom. So the use of new technology, new gadgets, huh? through use of new technology and new gadgets, we can say this is the uh, applied type of research. Hmm? Development of new technology. We can say this is applied type of research. Development of new inventions. Development of new inventions. Development of new technology. Technology in learning. Technology in uh, every wire. Wire wire the technology word is used. Or wire wire the technology words is being used. We can say this is the applied type of research. And I have given some examples uh, below like invention of new medicines invention of new medicines and business and education in order to reach solutions that may improve health in order to make the solutions that may improve health for example development of new medicines can improve the health and solve scientific problems solve scientific problems or develop new technologies or develop new technologies, technology in engineering, technology in learning, technology in uh, anything, anywhere. So, I think you got understanding of the meaning of applied research. I can also and again uh, ask you, applied research is implied to solve specific, immediate and practical problems. Based on existing knowledge, we can say, but and the applied research when we talk about is to solve specific problems, immediate problems on practical situations like new technology and inventions. There are so many examples here. There are so many things to which you can get under proper understanding and best understanding. Another type of research is action research. Action research is the third type of research, which means any law any action and fact findings about critical reflections. Action research means any plan, any action and fact findings about critical reflections. Generally applied in social sciences to solve local problems. Generally applied in social sciences to solve local problems. And action research is individual-based research. 
action research is individual based research team based research and administrative based research so i have highlighted uh, the word critical reflection action research means any plan about critical reflections any action about critical reflections what does it mean critical reflections critical reflection means any work done based on the question how for example i can quote you an example to make you best understanding uh, the meaning of action research like a teacher or an individual a teacher has a plan to check the regularity of his students in his class critically he can know if all the students are coming into his class if uh, some little students are coming majority of students are now coming into his class locally he can do a plan locally he can act locally he can do a plan to check how the students are not coming into his class how the majority of the students are not coming coming into his class on local basis he can check the regularity of the students to know the critical answer locally why the students are not coming into this class if the stu all the students are coming into the class he can check his instructional system either his instruction is very good either something more is very good which motivates the students to come regularly into the class if the students are not coming uh, regularly into his class he can also plan and check uh, critically on local basis and any team of and any organization can do a plan can act uh, collectively on something locally we can say collectively on local base and any administration can check the regularity of uh, schools systems we can say the regularity of school going systems and any supervisor can do action research uh, locally we can say so friends this was all about the meaning of the action research and all uh, i know i hope you got clear understanding of the types of research thank you